Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. And welcome to 2014. I hope everyone had a happy uh, holiday season, both Christmas and New Year's. Uh, welcome to 2014 and hopefully to a better year than 2013 was. Um, I see some trends that make me hopeful and happy that things are going to turn around in 2014 or at least begin to turn around. Uh, there's no way anybody's going to be able to predict exactly what's going on and when and if anything's going to happen as far as big and major events, but I really feel as though 2014 is going to be the beginning of some kind of revolutionary movement. Because of what we saw in 2013, because we saw massive protests in some cases, be because we saw some victories here and there against the corporate oligarchy. And that's the enemy, you understand. You have to stay focused on the idea that we need to be out there demanding our economic rights. To not be robbed and fucking have everything stolen from us by the banks and corporations and by proxy the government that run that is run by the corporations. Okay? If anybody's really worried about a new world order, it's already here with the corporations dominating the entire world. Okay? They are attempting to write the rules as they go along. And have no fear, all the stuff that is uh, being presented by uh, people as oppositional to the government in the sense that, oh, the government's evil, the government's bad. Well, it is evil and bad because it's being controlled by the corporations. Okay, So even when you look at things that seem to be governmental areas of responsibility, such as the NSA massive collection of fucking private data, cell phones, phone calls, internet, everything, and storing all of this for later use, you can guarantee, and I'll tell you, I absolutely fucking guarantee it, that that information is being shared with corporations in order to make them fucking more fucking money. Is there no end to the fucking greed that is permeating and like acid dissolving through the very nature of everything that was ever any good about this fucking country. There is no end to the fucking greed. Because if there is a fucking penny behind ten motherfucking feet of solid, reinforced fucking concrete underneath your fucking house, some corporation is going to come and spend massive amounts of money to get that fucking penny away from you to add it to their fucking bottom line. They don't give a shit. Everybody seems to be going for broke. And because we've had some positive things happen in 2013, I think 2014 is going to shape up to be a little bit better. With people finally waking up to the fact that the corporations are fucking them. That the banks are fucking them. And that the corporations are the ones that are making the laws and controlling the actions of our government and we need to get them out of there so that the government that we have until the fairy tale of the libertarians comes true and we have this fantastical no government land where everybody is beautiful and wonderful and happy and everything's great. Until that day comes, I want a functioning government. A government that actually is at least in theory, working for me. Being my representative. Not because I'm shoveling mountains of motherfucking cash to them like corporations do, but because it's their fucking duty and their goddamn job. How about that? So until we have the magical, mystical utopia of no government, Let's fix the fucking government that we have in the meantime, why don't we? By getting the money, the corporations, the fraud, the fucking corruption and everything else out of the fucking government. But stay focused on the real enemies, folks. They're the ones with the money. They're the ones that will not be held responsible for anything. The banks guilty of crime after crime after fraud after theft after thievery of every fucking kind. Not a single fucking bank or not a single fucking charge. And if you're rich, you can apparently murder people too and get off. Because you're too rich to know better. I, I, I didn't know killing people was wrong. 
Because I'm rich! I can do whatever the fuck I want! Yeah. Until we get back this justice system, until we dismantle the prison industrial complex in this country, until we dismantle the corporate fascist hold that is over our government, there will never be anything that works here. And by attacking the government, all you're doing is allowing the corporations and the banks to continue their thieving, raping, and fucking pillaging of you. Yes, the government is atrocious, but that is only because it is being run and completely controlled by moneyed interests, including the elite 1% or 10th of 1%, whatever you want to call it, and the massive multinational corporations, banking institutions, finance companies, all of these people that deal with finance and money are all interwoven into the government system and they control it. So until we reach that utopia, we have to fight for what is ours and what we should have a right to. I want a pension. I want a retirement. I want health care. I want all of these things because they're essential. And because it is ours. We have a right to them. And yet, at every turn, they're trying to knock that down. So, because I saw some positive trends in 2013, I think 2014 is going to continue in that vein with more bigger protests, with more people out in the street, with more people demanding more in the way of actual real things. I'm not talking about just going and sitting somewhere with no fucking program and no idea what the fuck you want. But I'm talking about targeted real action. And I have a good feeling about 2014 as being the beginning of this. Well, maybe 2013 was the beginning and 2014 is going to continue that ball rolling. I certainly hope so anyway. Because we need a respite. We need a break, people. But not yet. There's a lot more fighting to do. So I'm hopeful about 2014. I'm still laser-like focused on who the enemies are. I hope you are too. Thank you. Good night.